Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time, I hope you like what you see and subscribe. Just kidding about the warning, but today's video is on a pretty controversial subject. And that is, if you caught a world record muskie, would you release it or would you kill it? As an active member of the New Brunswick muskie fishing community, I've heard this topic raised on numerous occasions as many of us here believe that the St. John River could produce a world record fish in the next 10 or 20 years. Our fishery is relatively young, coming from a stocking program in Lake Frontier, Quebec in the late 70s. The fish are the St. Lawrence River strain and their main food source is herring, which is extremely abundant and very oily. Combine these factors and you have potential for some real beast. So what would you do with a potential world record in the net? Before you even ask yourself that question, do you know what the current IGFA world record is? Cal Johnson, 67 and a half pounds. Do you know what the live release world record is? Dominic Hoyas, 55 by 30 inches. Besides these, there's other associations that have their own world records, such as the Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame and the Modern Day Muscalunge World Record Program. Joe Seeberger, 58 pounds. Something else you need to know? What do your fishing regulations state about keeping a muskie that size? And finally, have you done the numbers with the weight formula to even know the size of a potential world record muskie? Now that you know the numbers, it's time for a plan because the last thing you want to do is make a decision when the adrenaline's pumping. <laughs> What can I say? So go through the pros and cons and decide now. To help out with this, I canvassed a few other musky fishermen and here's their thoughts. Let's start with the cons and the first one that's usually mentioned is killing a fish is contrary to the philosophy of catch and release and conservation of the species. Another is that when you harvest a trophy musky, you take those eggs out of the gene pool, potentially limiting the development of another monster. And unfortunately, one more that needs to be mentioned in this age of social media is the negative feedback you could receive for killing a world record muskie. That's some of the cons, now how about some pros? As a point of interest, this video clip is from the St. John River during the first week of December. The water temperature was a balmy 31.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank gosh for current, now let's get back to the pros. The one I typically hear first is, that it silences a lot of the doubters. Pretty hard to argue the actual size of the fish when you have the proof. Regarding taking the eggs out of the gene pool, according to research, a muskie this size is usually at the end of its life cycle and would have spawned for numerous years while having few, if any, left. There's also the financial aspect of a world record muskie. It's been estimated that this fish could be worth up to a million dollars in endorsements to the individual angler. And some people consider this a pro, while others consider it a con, but it would certainly promote the fishery in the area. Well friends, that's some of the most common pros and cons. And if you have any others, please leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Hope you enjoyed the video and it gets you thinking about your decision because you just never know.